Today my assistant and I are going to show you how to tell if your Pokemon booster packs were resealed. Let's go. The most common place scammers will try to reseal your packs is the bottom of the pack because you're much less likely to actually open the pack from the bottom because it is natural to turn it around the right way when you pick it up. The most immediate way to tell if the pack has been tampered with without actually opening it is to do how I call it the touch test. When you slide your thumbs or any other finger over the crimple of the, the or the seal of the booster pack, it should feel very much the same in every single place. If there would be any sort of tampering going on with it, you will feel a difference. It might be a little bit hard to catch on to at the very first time you're doing this or the very first couple times, but it is noticeable once it is there. What you see me doing right now is showing you how oftentimes there would be imperfections on the booster pack itself from the factory, from the sealing process. This is very much normal and just because you see tiny bits of foil from the other side left over, left over or something, that does not automatically mean your pack has been resealed. It is usually much more evident that it has been resealed. And I'm going to show that right now. I have with me a trusty KitKat wrapper because I do not have any sealed booster packs, but this is very much the, way, the same way this is gonna look. Now for KitKats, this is, this is not a resealed KitKat, at least I hope so because I just ate it. And this is normal. The, the factory doesn't really care if they leave a little bit of uh, glue on it, it doesn't really affect the, the food, it's fine the way it's wrapped. However for booster packs, if you had a booster pack looking like this, this is a 100% evident sign of something being wrong with the pack. There is no glue on a clean booster pack and there should be no glue in any place of the pack whatsoever. This doesn't apply only to the bottom and the top seal, it also applies to the middle seal that goes through the booster pack. There is one more thing that can, and I'm repeating, can be a little suspicious, is that sometimes the resealers would do such a sloppy job that they would leave a, an amount of space open in between the seals. However, if it goes all the way to the side, like I was just showing right now, this does not automatically mean that the pack was tampered with as there is an extent, a certain percentage of factory sealed booster packs that do have those open spaces at the very corners. If you're unsure and the opening is big enough to spark a certain amount of doubt in you, just pick up the next booster pack or the next booster box and you'll be fine. You don't want to feel like you got hold. Anyway, if you learned something today, leave a like, leave a comment, share it with your friends so they also learned something. If you didn't, well, leave a dislike and just go watch the next video.